Hello! Today I'm here to talk about how you can use some natural language to create calendar events in Outlook. Now, you're probably used to creating events in the regular way. To show you what I mean, let's just create a standard event. So I'm going to click up here to create a new one, and I'm going to label it Team Meeting. And then I'm going to select the date for the meeting. So I'm going to select Next Wednesday using this date picker here. Now that's all well and good, and it certainly is an option when you need to create an event. But sometimes it's easier to use natural language instead of having to fiddle around with this interface just in order to pick a date. So let's go back and create a new appointment. This time I'm going to be making an appointment for an upcoming game of golf with my partners. Now I know that we're supposed to play on Saturday. So instead of picking the date from the calendar tool, I'm just going to mouse into this area here and say, Next Saturday. And just like that, you can see the date has been placed in the event, so I can save and close it. Now the power of this feature goes beyond next Saturday. For instance, say I'm making holiday plans. I know I have to drive to the in-laws on Christmas Eve. So as I'm setting this up in my calendar, I can just type Christmas Eve into the box here, and it will schedule me for the appropriate date. It gets even smarter than that though. We do inventory every April, usually the first weekend after the start of the month. Now I could spend a needless minute or two scrolling through to find that date, or I could just describe what I'm looking for in the date box here, and let Outlook do the heavy lifting for me. So the next time you need to set up an event for something in the future, try using plain language to save yourself some time. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.